I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Hello, hello, Saggy Sensei here, and today we have the pinnacle of Super Auto Pets. That's right, we're talking about the 50-50 shop. I do this all the time, but normally it takes me a little bit of time to, to actually get it going. Um, but today, I believe this is the fastest 50-50 shop I have ever seen. And we're talking fast. Turn 12. I don't think I have ever seen a 50-50 shop so fast. And I think I could have even got it faster, but I wasn't even going for it. I accidentally got the fastest 50-50 shop I've ever seen. By accident. That's That's just insane to me. And the game looks so normal, like it looked like such a normal game. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're, we're getting uh, stuff going. We're, we're not going to die or anything. And then all of a sudden, it just does a complete 180. So we're actually going to go through all of the turns here so I can show you exactly how it's done. And we're starting off with a big goldfish. Honestly, tripling into the rabbit here to get a big goldfish was really, really nice. Goldfish is super important when it comes to getting 50-50 shops. Uh, when you get discounts on pets, uh, every bit of gold matters. So getting the goldfish is definitely mandatory. Uh, you don't have to get like a goat or a hamster, but they're definitely uh, something that you can go for. Like they're, they're definitely good. So I recommend goat and hamster as well. Just anything that gives you gold is always going to be good. Getting a level 2 goldfish here is also really nice. Picking up a draft so we get some buffs on it is really good. I don't want to lose that many rounds. So, um, Also, the hero of this, I would say, is blobfish. Blobfish is just absolutely absurd, especially if you can get it for free. So by the time turn 7 rolls around, our goldfish will actually make the blobfish in the shop free. We're talking one gold, because uh, we have to spin for the pill, one gold to get plus two, plus two, and an experience. Pretty nutty. And we have another one on board, so we just need to find one more pill, actually, and we'll be solid. And there it is. So next turn, turn 7, is when we can start going crazy. We actually do get a level up as well. So we have the one level up for Stork. We will have a free Blobfish. And we will have two pills ready for both of them. So, honestly, this turn doesn't matter if I win or lose. However, uh, Clownfish is really good for winning. So, we have that there. And here's the turn. Turn 7, our first level up is boom, chicken. That's exactly what you want to see on turn seven. And now I can actually pill both blobfish for a couple gold just to get a level two chicken immediately into goat. Now this is crazy. This is really, really crazy here. Um, turn seven, level two chicken and goat is absolutely absurd. Now the big problem that I did here, so I was, you know, I was like, okay, this is a normal game for me. I'll just keep doing what I normally do. We'll, we'll go for a couple chickens, whatnot. Um, but honestly, you don't need any more than, I would say, one level 2 chicken and maybe one level 1 chicken. Because after, um, I guess I suppose to say, if you get a level 3 chicken, it's kind of worthless. It's funny, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of worthless because you have to spend 9 more gold. I guess unless you use, uh, if you just have like blobfish on the squad. Or if you get the chickens for cheaper, you know. Um, it's kind of inefficient, we'll say. Because you have to spend 9 more gold to get a level 3 chicken when you could just have 3 chickens on board. Which uh, just work, I mean, just as fine. But instead, I see this turn 9 shop with a one gold chicken and another chicken in shop. And I'm like, what is going on? I was like, okay, well, I, I could probably get a 50-50 shop pretty quickly then. So we're going to chocolate it and then get the one gold and get a level 3 chicken just like that. So I can have a, a few more things on board. I want to keep my goat, I want to keep my um, goldfish, and I want to keep my lobster. So we ended up doing it that way. And we'll probably pick up this hatching chick here. Could have picked up the uh, the crow, but it didn't really matter. I already have the level 3 chicken. And we're just going insane. Turn 9, level 3 chicken. <laughs> That's nothing to scoff at, I tell you. 
and we're not that weak at all either. Like, we're still pretty strong. We are beating these teams consistently. And on turn 10, another chicken. And I was like, dude, I have to go for this chicken. Like, it is calling to me. And then it's like, get rid of lobster because I, I can still buy sell this here and there's a hamster and i think hamster will do a bit better than goat we we we've gotten all the efficiency out of goat it's paid for itself into another chicken and i was like oh my god dude um we can actually get a level three chicken and a level two chicken uh however buying the level two chicken probably or getting a level two chicken here isn't really the way to go um, but I did it anyways for a level up, and it's actually into Lioness, which is just more shop scaling. So on turn 10, we are already halfway there, but every tier 1 that we buy now, that is 5-5 five, five to the shop. So we realistically only need 4 or 5 more tier 1s. However, we've gotten pretty unlucky with the tier 1s, like we haven't seen that many chinchillas, not really any pigs... Um, we're just getting regular old tier ones and I see another chicken there and I, honestly, I should have gone for it. I think at this point I was going full out. It would have been really, really funny. And we get another lioness. We have two lionesses, a level three chicken and a level two chicken on turn 11. Like you couldn't ask for a better game. We realist, we only need to buy these last two tier one units and we will 50, 50 shop like it's no tomorrow. And that'll be next turn, turn 12. Look at this guy that we're facing. He doesn't stand a chance. I was hoping like maybe for a tie or something, but there's absolutely no way. So we're actually going to get rid of the lioness there, buy these last two, and I actually buy this can for no reason. There's no need to buy this can. Lioness at the end of the turn would have given me the last two two that I needed, but I did it anyways because I'm a madman. And there you have it. Turn 12, 50-50 shop. I would love to see if anyone has gotten a faster shop than this, but so far the fastest one I've seen was on turn 13. So you could say this was turn 12 with 7 gold left is what uh, what the record is, or at least my record. So definitely let me know if you've seen a faster one, and if you have, man, put it in the Discord or something, put it on the, the Super Auto Pets Reddit, get it in the Coconut Mall, do something, I just have to see this. And we're on the last turn. It's turn 13, 50-50 shop. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Mantis? The whole, the whole build was going for Mantis anyway. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe I can get it, squeeze it in here at the end. But also I see double reindeer. So I was like, boom, let's get double reindeer, double Mantis. And let's finish out the symmetry with this last Mantis. So this is a hilarious team. The symmetry is beautiful. Three Mantis, two Reindeer. The guy that faces me would be so crushed, I bet. I mean, bro, I'm so sorry for you. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And you know what? Have a beautiful day.